Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video I'm going to show you how to connect FileZilla, which is your local on your computer FTP client, to server which is located somewhere else. And I will show you this in real world example. And here on Purpose I created previously two videos. First one is how to create FTP account on your server and then how to install FileZilla. This means that FTP account, this is somewhere on your server which will allow your FileZilla to connect to this FTP account so you can make a connection and then you can transfer files between your local computer what we will be doing in this video to some server which is located somewhere else and i will be using cpanel on my hostgator account and i will show you website files here is firstly on the server and then we will connect to these the same files which are here on my hostgator on my hosting account by using filezilla so first like i said you go into your cPanel if you are using go into file manager and you will be able to see these files and usually the website files are located into public underscore html as you can see here if we click in the left hand side so here if i click on public underscore html i can see all my website files and this is the wordpress website and this is wordpress website files which you can see here which are located in public underscore html folder usually in hosts or in host things if you are dealing with web development guys like i mentioned we created ftp account here in this cpanel previously by using ftp accounts if we click in there you will be able to see this account new user which we created and then in next video we installed this filezilla which was in previous video if you haven't watched it and you want to see how this process works in depth go and watch these videos i will leave links in first pinned comment and here one once you have installed FileZilla, in search you can type in FileZilla. Click on this FileZilla app and FileZilla will open up. And this is your FTP client on the left hand side. You can see everything what is happening on your computer. As you see this is your PC, you can go to your desktop. And once you click here in the first top tab somewhere on somewhere on any of these folders you can see what is in those folders so what we will be doing we will first create some test file on our desktop as i clicked in into desktop you can go into any other folders or files here on your computer if you wish to do so but we will be using some some file to send it to our server from our desktop so i will go to desktop and right click and click on new and hover over new and by using my notepad plus plus i will create some file as you see text document i will just create a text document and i will call it test.html this is just a file which we will be using for the purposes of this video but you can transfer this way images folders files zip folders and all other media which is on your pc to your server and after we have created this file we will go back to cpanel where is our account as you remember we created this account in this sec this first video ftp account which we will be connecting to to access these website files and here once you are in these ftp accounts I will go back again to cPanel so you can access it again if you don't know how to do it here with files there is FTP accounts which you can connect to we scroll down and here is this account which we created you can click here on configure FTP client and here you will see more information like your username is this one new user at bever.ie or this will be your website what we will be doing, we will open FileZilla and here where is username, we will paste in this username. This is the username. Then server, this is our host to connect with FileZilla. We will be using this host, which is FTP. Whatever the name is, just copy this server host and open FileZilla and paste it in the very first field. And in the password field, you enter that password, which you used when we created this account, as you remember from that video. That is the password, which we are entering here in the password field. And in port, we are typing in port 21 because port 21 is used for configuration. This is FTP or file transfer protocol port which is used for configuration. And then we click on quick connect. 
and here on the very first or very top tab you are able to see what is happening as you see it is a resolving address it is connecting to this IP address and other details which are related into the connection and once we have connected then here on the right hand side now you can see all those folders which are located on our server and here at the very top tab you can see here this folder public underscore HTML folders which you can see here in our file system as you can see logs email mail Perl and here is this public underscore HTML and once we are here click into a public underscore HTML like I mentioned you can see these the files of this a WordPress website which starts with VP admin VP content VP includes and if we go back now to our filezilla FTP client then if we will click into this public underscore HTML you will see here at the very bottom in the bottom tab there will open this VP admin VP content VP includes the same files which we can see here on our server if we access it directly from our cPanel and for example if we would want to add some file from our local computer not using a server login but by using filezilla we go into desktop and we created this file test dot uh, html this is dot txt file actually it created as a txt file but it doesn't really matter and there is an easy way how you can add this file into your public underscore html folder you can just click on it and you can drag it over to this side but make sure you are not dragging it into any folder because then it will be located into folder and once you drag it over to this side and you let go mouse it will automatically transport this file as you can see it is here text.html.txt and similar way you can drag files from your computer which is on the left hand side to this right hand side to add folders or files onto your server directory and now if we go back to our server there should also be this test file if I just refresh and once this is refreshed I again click in I again click into public under public underscore HTML and here should be this file as you can see it is here test.html.txt this is generally how you can easily transfer files between your server and between your local computer so your local computer environment is on the left hand side your server environment is on the right hand side by just dragging and dropping you can move files from your server to your local computer there is also more ways how you can do it for example as you can see here I am now in my server I can right click on this folder there is also download option if I will click on this it will download this folder VP includes let's do it let's download it it will download it to my desktop as you can see it downloaded here to my desktop and here once it is downloading here on the top part you can see what is happening in the server what is happening behind and here if you click here on successful transfers at the very bottom you scroll it up you can see how many transfer successful transfers or if there are any errors for example whenever you are downloading something from one side from your server to your computer or from your computer to your server and if I go now into my desktop I should also be able to see this VP dash include this folder now let's close this tab and now as you can see this is downloaded also on my local computer and another thing which you should also know as you remember when we connected I was using port 21 here in port so this is only for connection this FTP port 21 connection allows us to navigate over this file system in remote server but whenever we are downloading for example whenever I am downloading some folders from this server or from the, from my computer then there is used port 20 because port 20 is used for data transfer in file transfer protocol system and port 21 is used for management for pretty much browsing the file system so yes guys if you found this video useful leave a like share this video subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one